Started. Started. Is that your door number? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking hell. We've, we've got the artwork suited. Send <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, me over the snap, man. Uh, what's good, brothers, man? Another week. Yeah. I feel like, is it, is it me or the week's getting like quicker and quicker? Like, I can't believe really it. Yeah, crazy, crazy, yeah, crazy. Yeah, crazy. Man, it's flying, it's flying. They are speeding up a bit. Yeah, yeah. I, f- I think we keep saying like, or at least at work, we're like, oh my God, next week, September. Next week, October. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next week's November. Now in a couple of days, it's, it's December. Like, mm. so, which is actually mad. Nuts. Which is nuts. Any, any Christmas trees up? Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. Not jump in. The jump Not starts. Not, nothing to do with me. You saying you went for a run, come back, and it was done. It was done. Yeah. <laughs> I, I actually, I watched. It. I was a project manager. <laughs> and PM did. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Overseeing it, the overseer. Yeah. Hard hat and Tim's on. <laughs> yeah, and <laughs> jeans and then, I've and then the puffer gile. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Land Rover Discovery or something. <laughs> um, yeah, a couple of presents are wrapped as well, but as again, as again. Okay. No, Wait, cool. you're really present. That's, um, that's good. Bro, that's nothing to do with me. Like, oh, okay, I'm, all right. Yeah, that's yeah, make, yeah. that's making a bit more sense. The time frames are making a bit more sense. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't touched. I haven't touched nothing. Hey, I've not even thought about gifts. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's the techie one, man. I feel like for like the last couple of months, I've been like in my head, I'm like Christmas is cancelled anyway. Mm, like low key, like, you just got to inform them, Rich. Inform the family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it might not be cancelled for them but still. <laughs> but I'm just gonna receive, innit? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a win-win. <laughs> yeah, yeah no, man. it feels spooky. It feels spooky. Um, I mean, Christmas tree shouldn't go up until December, mate. Yeah, I feel um, a bit odd putting it up in before December. I think next mm. week will be the will be the week. I, th- I think loads of people have just been making a slight exception uh, this year to throw it up. Yeah, a bit I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. I definitely get Trying it. Um, that mm. festive that festive period started, but yeah, mm. I'm alright. Not... Like I your whole free. Like, yeah. I don't even know if I'm gonna put the yeah. shoe up or any dec- decoration. I'm like, yeah, you're not. You're you're Scrooging this year. I mean, it just feels, I don't know, man. I don't, I just, that already doesn't feel like it's going to be Christmas, if that makes sense. But should mm. you try and get in the mood of it, I guess? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make it you're, Yeah, you're just in a slump saying, oh, we've had this shit year. Like, let's yeah, just yeah, make yeah, it right. even shit up. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I guess my thing is, like, Christmas can't save it, is how I'm, maybe I'm looking at it. Oh, like, my God. It can't, yeah. but I can make you yeah. feel a bit better for... Yeah, of course. I'm not, that being said, yeah, I do... Rich, even I, your posture really telling me that you're just not I, on it. Sitting there, oh, I'm, I'm on. I enjoy Christmas, yeah. He's in Jan already, though. And Christmas Day, but it's just like... I've never been like... You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, I... people get very excited doing these Christmas countdowns like, I hate all of that stuff so I'm like I'll put it up but and I'm not like, obviously I'm not project manager like I'm a grafter <laughs> you're, the, you're, one the, you're, one the, you're one of the you're one of the elves yeah. I do the late shifts, all of that like yeah I'm yeah that, that's why that's why because for yeah. me the Christmas countdown means I got like 10 days off work you see what I'm saying okay right but right, right. now this year I'm like yeah cool I got that 10 days whatever mm-hmm. but it's going to be dead you say that, but I don't. I don't think it will be dead. I think, yeah, we're... it's not going to be like not like last year or how yeah, I wanted yeah, it yeah, to yeah, be. Yeah, I, had yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, had, I had big plans. Okay, I had what, big plans. What do people do over Christmas? Yeah. This is the thing I'm as well, betting. bro. What do you mean? What do they do, fam? Every day is a Friday night, fam. No, but then <laughs> that, that will continue, though, innit? Living some Hollywood huh? life. That that's that will be the same this year, no? No, oh, you can't. Friday night. You mean the going out? Yeah, you can't go places. Oh, that's Friday night skin, people. bro. Zoom. You're saying <laughs> Zoom every day? <laughs> no, bro. 24 hours Zoom, no, man. Uh, we're not, we're not no, it's, it's different. It's different. It's different. We go, but we're, uh, we're, this yeah. Christmas, we're going to still have... You'll still get some time, I guess. Right? We've got five days, five whole days of Christmas. As was announced this uh, week. Yeah, but what, what yes. does that mean? What, what, what are the rules there? Just no rules. Well, well for me... It didn't make sense because I've never Christmas celebrated Christmas over five days. Like mm. for me, mm. Christmas Day is one day, maybe a day and a half, 
evening of Christmas Eve has become more of an event. I feel yeah. like yeah, Christmas Eve, Boxing Day, and then like, you got the New Year's as well, isn't it? But now we've got five whole days of Christmas. That for me, that's. So, but what Christmas. does that mean? What are what are the rules over that five days? And when are three, those five? Um, three households can meet indoors. Apparently, then it's including. That's me, D fam. There, that's dead. Yeah, between so the 23rd and the 27th. Households can meet between the 23rd and the 27th. Yeah. Yeah, and that's more 23rd. than a... People are still yeah. working. <laughs> oh, so it could be four households? Four households. Okay. That's including... Yeah, that's, that's, your that's, that's bad. I that's the that. decent link-up. Yeah, but... Yeah, cool, man. Still but what I, in, in my head, like, I'm like, I wouldn't have... I would have only day this would have happened would have been Christmas Day, usually... Mm-hmm. Boxing Day is usually like a morning and after thing. Like, man's just chilling the whole day. I might yeah. watch. No, might no, not. people don't be blink, though. <laughs> blink. Late, <laughs> late, 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 late. I might watch. Late um, thing. It's a late thing, though, Boxing Day. Um, mm. But I don't know. Maybe it's just, maybe I've been doing Christmas wrong. I don't, I don't, I feel like it's only five days, bro. You need to, you need to, I feel like this year, you need to my make spirit. the most of these five years. You might don't, days. you might don't rate my Christmas energy. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, like, you don't have Christmas energy, fam. Yeah. <laughs> you guys have like the girls around me, man. Too much of a Debbie <laughs> Downer, fam. Oh, Trust me. Girls around Christmas, you. Bro. You're a naysayer, fam. You're a naysayer. <laughs> uh, Rich, I think we mentioned it in our cousins group, but mm. this year, and I think it is symptomatic <clears throat> of getting old, yeah. Mm. But it's bare different. Like everyone's having kids, and this guy's having a kid. She's oh yes, like, bro. I'm telling you, yeah. I'm not buying presents. I'm not <laughs> buying presents. <laughs> oh yeah. Again? yeah, yeah. Again, Dan? I'm not buying presents for these man. <laughs> unless, unless you're like, yeah, <laughs> close, close, yeah. I won't yeah. be making a donation. And you lot have a you lot have yeah. a fairly big family, and it seems like it's expanded. It's yeah, only gonna that, get bigger, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it's bigger. Like, Deblock can, can get it, but then there's like there's friends, then there's this person. And then Where that. do you draw the, 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 the lines? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, for I, me, yeah, Christmas, and this I'm, is where I think I'm at. I feel like Christmas is for kids, isn't it? So mm. I want to try and get kids, but everybody's kid can't get a present. That's the real thing. There's, it's, bad. there's yeah, bad kids, it's a lot still. I got, a, I wrote down a big list. And it's, it's mad. Did you send it off to Santa? Or? And I, I, I looked at it <laughs> since, fam. I need to, I need to do that this weekend, actually. Bear yeah. online, bear online gifts, fam. How many, how many kids is it looking like then? It was quite a bit, fam. That's slow, man. It's oh, it's like three, slow. four for me max. Anything after yeah. that? Not too bad. Mm. Yeah, I'm what about like, I've got, what about like siblings? Family. Your siblings or um, parents? I mean, I used to do siblings. You parents, to. I don't even know. Yeah. I, I do, I do, I do. But it's been getting lighter and lighter. Like Jamie got me like, like uh, it was blatantly like a two for twenty JD like little night joint. I he, kept on, yeah. he kept on. He kept one of them. <laughs> He's gonna be one of them. He kept one to Daryl, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, I I don't know where that shit disappears, but I can't. No, don't say it back, obviously, listen, grateful. So, grateful you are. Yeah. No, I'm, I, I didn't say I was ungrateful. I'm just saying, it's getting. I've realised, obviously, he's got kids. I'm the one that hasn't got kids. Mm. So they've both got kids. So it's mm. been getting lighter and lighter. I mean, Daryl mm-hmm. got me something decent last year. But, um, yeah, I think yeah, getting man, stuff for the kids is fine. We're edging think. towards, like, yeah, the sibling thing is going to be yeah, out. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, it's yeah, yeah. That discussion needs to be had still. Oh, mm. yeah. But I'm going to be the one that loses because I'm still going to have to buy for their youth, isn't it? So, no, but they're not benefiting from that. Either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, they are, fam. <laughs> <laughs> I get good gifts, fam. Yeah, it's, it's, it's techie. But no, I'm still, I'm still, I've copped my, my brother's stuff. Um, but I think, yeah, as the older brother, that's like, I'll keep it going for, for a while. And um, to be fair, their band still, they, they buy me stuff regular, so... Mm. Mm. Um, I guess we'll, we'll keep it going for now. Mm. Do you know what I've done though? Well, again, it's kind of happened this year. I think it was the first year I've done it. I've got their man cards for their birthday. Um, mm. which cards. I never cards with words in them. I was mm. switching yeah, it up. Yeah, yeah. I feel like I'm <laughs> elder statesman is kicking in now. Mm. Um, cards with words. So well, like, what, like paragraphs and that. Well, Daryl got a better paragraph. Daryl, Daryl, Daryl's thing was heartfelt. Jamie was just like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like dickhead, like little brother, all of that. Um, but Daryl, Daryl actually put some words into it and he shouted me and was like, whoa, that meant a lot to man. And I was like, mm. 
Yeah, that's cold because that's what mm. I wanted it to do, innit? Because mm, mm, mm. I just wanted to give, I don't know, man, with Daryl, because our birthdays are all over that weekend. I feel like mm. Daryl should get his flowers. So I just gave him the card when we've done something as well. But um, mm. yeah, I think I'm switching it up a little bit. Right? I don't think that man can be like, really expecting presents from me. Like, I'll get they get a card if anything. Fuck it. Mm. Yeah, mm. expecting it is. No, is that is that bad? I don't know. I don't know. You don't it's... buy presents for your nah. brother. You're buying presents for this, bro. The girls, isn't it? No, but that's all. That's all. That's our next thing still. I mean, I might get uh, yeah, if, if, if I do it with something real light though, or mm. if I just find something like you, mm. and it can still be P. Mm. If I just screams you, I'll grab it for you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But like, yeah. I'm not 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 trying to dabble in that too much. I got to get punched for you, so. Well, hey, man. Jamie's gonna start sending you mad stuff after hearing you say that. Budgets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a bit of me, innit? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah the, the Christmas festivities seem to have started, and yeah, this week, yeah, yeah. This week thing was announced when it's the COVID 19 Christmas. Um, yeah, three households will be allowed to meet indoors between the 23rd and the 27th, but you can't meet up inside pubs, hotels, retail theatres or restaurants what do you think about the new rules the outdoors uh, you, households I think you can meet outdoors so you but, so, yeah, on, let me get this. Yeah, so you cool. can't meet multiple households in any of these venues but you can still but you can go to these venues in your houses yeah and you can go to these venues uh, but you can't be from different households so I could go okay, there with my household, so you could go with yours and we could be across the way, sending mm. each other bottles of champagne and stuff like that. As, oh, as we do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I think it is mad. And people are saying, yes, part of the new announcements, hugging will be allowed at Christmas, um, as will services in places of worship and care homes for residents under the age of 65. That's such a weird announcement. Mm. Yeah, I don't know, man. Well, your thoughts <laughs> on lifting the lockdown for Christmas? Uh, I've got my ideas. I think you might know where I stand already, boys. Mm. Yeah, I me, think it's it, it, none of it makes really, sense. It's yeah. I think it's it's counterproductive. Um, yeah, throughout most of this year, I mean, we missed Easter this year um, as a British Christian holiday. A uh, couple of Eids have passed. Diwali was just the other day. No exceptions. No exceptions, sorry. Um, now, because it's our thing, we need whole five whole days. No one, and this is what I said to you before, I don't know anyone that celebrates Christmas for five days, bro. Give us one day, two days, if, if that. But mm. five days, excessive, and it's, we're just going to be in this thing for longer. The numbers are going to fly through the roof. Because yeah, when long. you pray it, yeah, that this lockdown, lockdown, <clears throat> hasn't even been effective. The numbers are still on the increase, like, it's, it's totally counterproductive. Then they're not. They certainly haven't slowed down. We had we recorded some point last week six hundred and something deaths. Hmm. That was our highest since May. Nothing. It's done nothing. I think that's partly because no one's sticking to it, and mm-hmm. it needs to be tighter, really. But but I think like <clears throat> we're listening to a much. You start seeing if there is going to be differences in that now, isn't it? Because the lockdown was only for a month, and it's only oh. been what three weeks or something. Yeah, like that. yeah, max, right? Mm. Yeah, you, yeah, we shouldn't see. There's a lag. Like, yeah. The moment we do, it's going to be, because we're coming out on the second, it's already going to be too late. Are you with me? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But so, yeah. yeah. And then when that Christmas yeah. thing comes two, three weeks later, hmm. back at square one. Or zero, fam. It might, it might even be worse. Hmm. But um, Christmas, isn't it? You've got to celebrate it, bro. It's, it's just, it's just, it, just doesn't, it doesn't make sense to me. It, it flies in the face of the science of the science and what people are trying to achieve and I think it's quite it's like, personally I think it's weak hmm. um, talk then yeah, talk none, of, talk. none of it makes it's, sense it's, Go on, it's, weak. it's um, just bowing to I guess pressure I know it's a nice thing but then <clears throat> we've missed out on loads of nice things this year mm-hmm. but the people have missed out on yeah, birthdays and weddings have been moved sadly funerals etc etc 
So, like, why would Christmas be any different? Like, it's, I think it's basically... It's trying to please people, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. and at what cost? Mm-hmm. Mm, it's a bit of a... um, It's like a really bad cheat day, isn't it? Mm-hmm. You've been good most of the week. Mm-hmm. I would say good. Good is probably not even the word, but you just yeah. like, fuck it, man. It's the weekend. Just, that's just... You're not going to sleep and eat shit all day. Like, it's, it's silly, man, but here we are. How's this... I guess to, to Mike and Les, uh, how will this affect you lot's Christmas? Is I know well, me and Rich probably sharing some sort of Christmas. Um, well, I don't know, like four households, mate. Don't get too cocky. Oh, I probably not that much, you know. Well, like, last really. last year was literally just at home, like <clears throat> I think. Yeah, I think this year might have been a bit different, but because of this, nothing's been said. Mm. So mm. I'm assuming. Just gonna be at home unless something else gets mentioned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think probably the same for me to be honest. Um, Christmas is usually just my immediate family, um, and then my nan will come over. Uh, some t- couple years we've gone mm. to my cousins and spent it there. Where load they got a big house, so there's loads of people that come round. Mm. Mm-hmm. Um, but I don't think that's the plan this year. Um, yeah, so yeah. yeah, I don't think it affects it too much. And I think I'm um, like what Rich said. I don't really need. I don't think anyone needs five days to freely move about. Like, if you just say, yeah, uh, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, maybe even Boxing Day, a little bit of freedom, and then mm-hmm. go about your business. But a whole week, it just... Mm. People are going to go mad in that week. And then mm. I personally think in January, we're back in some mad lockdown. Yeah, I, I called that time ago, isn't it? Yeah, I've, I've said I that said, before, yeah. yeah. I said, but yeah, I, I reckon... this is supposed to last until March. I think they say till Easter. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know, man. I can't, yeah, I, I, I see us going back into another lockdown, yeah. Like I said as well a couple of weeks ago, bro, the only way out is this vaccine thing, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's what I believe too. But, <clears throat> um, yeah, the, the, Chris, the Christmas thing, yeah, back in the day, it was different. Like, we all used to be together, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. all cousins and all of that. They'll bear us, bear <clears throat> us. Um, I'm the youngest, isn't it? Yeah, yeah um, yeah. so. Eventually, everyone got Mrs. Kids and all of that. So everyone started to do their in-laws. own little, yeah, yeah, mm. their own little things that has changed. But mm. back in the day, it was yeah, proper big. No, big deal. Yeah, mm. Rich, uh, I've drawn up a list of of priorities uh, or households that can come round <laughs> because I'm assuming you're going to be the base this year. Um, perhaps I think we're going to do a raffle. It's going to throw away though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do a raffle, man. You're you say like a, a draw, yeah, like fucking sneakers. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my you god! You better invest in a bot, dad. That yeah. is funny. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, no, I, I, honestly, I don't know. You know, there's there hasn't really been usually around now or maybe earlier this month. There's murmurings as to who's gonna almost take the hit, kind of thing. Mm. But we'll see. I don't know, man. I don't know, I'll be honest. My mum's a real stickler for rules. Yeah, so. mm. I'm rightfully so, man. We need more people like that if we want to get mm. out. Of it. We'll see. It'll probably be... Maybe we'll do testing or something. Maybe I'll... Maybe... <laughs> Buzz man at the door. <laughs> <laughs> With the yeah, heat sensor. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Come and come nah, and come Sorry, you, Everyone's you got yeah. the same number. Yeah. yeah, you can come through, but your kids can't. Fam, no <laughs> one has ever been frozen <laughs> they were too hot. Like, I'm convinced everything's off fake. I wonder, I'm thinking. They're legit, uh, you know. I've got one at work. For sure, and that. Some props, um, man. And I test them, like, I, I, I try to make it pink. It actually um, changes, yeah. It, no, yeah, I put it on, like, the side of my head. It will, if you put mm. it on, like, your temples, you'll, you'll usually go over. Oh, okay. It's my... um, so, that, well, at least that one works. I don't know about these little guns. This one's some proper thing. But, um, yeah, man, you're right. I've, I don't know anyone that's tested above yeah, it. No, nah, because one of them things, yeah, <laughs> in the summer when it was baking, yeah, oh, my I was God. standing in the heat. No shade for time waiting for someone. Like my head's baking, bro. I'm like, no, nah, I need like a water. Went to the venue. They're like, yeah, let me scan your forehead. Like, I'm thinking, bro, panicking. Are you okay? Like, I'm definitely like bare hot. Like, yeah, go through. I was like, right, cool. Say no more. It's a mess, man. It's a, it's a big, big mess. Um, but yeah, I guess we'll we'll see how it all plays out, man. Um. Mm. I guess, yeah, lockdown's ended as well. So in the lead up to Christmas, there's going to be a lot of mingling. 
them in glory. Yeah. The gyms are open again. The shops are going to be open. Yeah. On top of that, it's Christmas shopping. On top of that, people have been locked up. They've got money to spend. Mm. It's good. I don't know, man. I feel like the damage could be done prior to... Oh, month. it is, Dan. This is what oh, I'm 100%, talking about. 100%, 100%. It's a month of freedom, it seems, already. That's yeah. yeah. Well, like those, the top, so, yeah, so those five like, days won't make a difference. Mm. Those five days. Already going to be too late. The, the die will be cast by then, yeah. Not gonna Long time. Blind bit of difference. Go on, I know there's bare right. bookings going in at the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's bare and bookings pe- going yeah. in. And people think <laughs> like, oh, well, well, next week we're going to be allowed to do this anyway, so I might as well just do it this week. Mm. Mm. And people are like, we're going to be in some kind of lockdown from probably a more extensive one, I believe, because I think we've only been let out to spend money yeah. for Christmas. Um, like January through Feb is probably going to be like proper lockdown. So, I mean, I, I can't even be mad at anyone. Like, I'm again, I've been, I feel like I've been pretty good with the rules, staying within the guidelines. Mm-hmm. I mean, I've probably jumped out of it a couple of times, but for the most part, in a month, my contacts, I might not see mm. more than like eight different people if I'm being honest. Yeah. Um, so I feel like I get it that I get why people are like, fuck it, man. Like, we've been, we've been locked up all year. I get yeah, it. Yeah. You, you, anyone getting fatigued? Yes, and I said I said, it yeah. in, I said it in the group like late late last night. I had it. Yes, I thought it as well yesterday. I, I can't be the only. I can't be. The, I can't be the only one that's itching to like be outside. Yeah, yeah. I was we, saying to um. We've been indoors way too long. I was saying to Kai yesterday. Mm. It's like I'm cool being at home or whatever. Like I don't mind it. It's when I think about it and talk about it. Yeah, I'm like. Then, man, it's me, not. Man. It's not cool. Like I'm like you, or we're all the same. It's. You got to be indoors, so we're happy just to be here. But this ain't where we're choosing to be. It's because we're not mm. allowed to go anywhere else. Yeah, yeah, of course. But, but given the option, like Black Friday was yesterday. I was yeah. looking at was thinking, yeah, when we when we're out, I'm wearing this, yeah. I'm wearing that. Yeah. I need to get a pair I mean, of shoes when we step it's out. It's gonna be a different season, fam. <laughs> it's gonna be a we're stepping into four different seasons, fam. Trust. <laughs> be careful. Did anyone um cop? Anything yesterday? Well, obviously, Len's probably bought six pairs of crap. I got a car. I got, <laughs> I got a few bits. Yeah, yeah. What would you get, Liz? Uh, I got a pair of trainers. Of uh, course, he did. <laughs> <laughs> I won't go into, but Bam, you price... only got two feet. I had to. Price wise, <laughs> price wise, I could, I could not get them. Um. Uh, what, I, what else did I get? Then I just got like casual like joggers and like a sweatshirt just because I don't really have that kind of stuff and it's either like gym wear or like jeans. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So just like casual stuff for when we uh, when we will link up. Next next <laughs> October or whatever. <laughs> Mike, you got anything? Nothing at all. I didn't even look, fam. Mad. Yeah, you did well. Didn't even you look. Got- you're fatigued still. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what for? What for? <laughs> Rich? Um, bad things in my like liked and ASOS, yeah? I woke up in the middle of the night and was like... like <laughs> nah, I was kind of um, But I, I copped a TV, but not for me. My mum was like, we should get a new TV. I was going to mm. say, you're usually an electronics guy. Yeah. Still. Mm. To be fair, that's where usually the best savings are. But um, yeah, it yeah, wasn't yeah. for me. It wasn't for me. My mum was like, Okay. I bought, a, brother, I bought a TV. I think I bought one this year as well, but she wants another one. So. I've got a TV. But, um, yeah, not for me, not for me. There was a couple of things I was scheming on, and it's like, you know, the Black Friday is not just a Friday, so there's a it's couple gonna, of... It's Cyber Monday as well. Mm-hmm. I need a thing. I was yeah, doing loads yeah, yeah. of um, work from home this week for like, for basically every company I work for. So I'm yeah. going to buy like a separate hard drive, but that's probably it. I'm going to mm-hmm. buy a hard drive with my work from home shit, but that's about it, man. <clears throat> what you done? I think you done? No, I, I, I was. I had a look, but then I didn't feel like the the value was there. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then a lot of these these bastard guys, they <laughs> put the price up prior to mm. Black Friday, and they lower it back down to where it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm just, I'm not getting something, man. I'm going back yeah. to March me. Where okay, uh, yeah, yeah. not you gotta work. You got to yeah, work yeah. hard to get to get mm, a penny out. Mm. Um, and there's yeah. nothing that I really need. I think I'd be forcing it a bit. Uh, I think the only place or the only reason I do so is to get Christmas presents. 
uh, yeah. cheaper price. But I'm, I'm not, I'm not organised, so I don't have any. <laughs> Wait for them to go back up in price, then you get them. Yeah, then that's when I'll pop it. <laughs> yeah. uh, then I mm. hate myself. Wow, but, um, no, I gave it a swerve, man. Jeez. You're fatigued, fam. Really? Yeah, I am. <laughs> yeah, you might you want a very fatigue, cuz I've had enough. Fam. <laughs> nah, my thing was, I quickly looked at my Christmas gift list, list in it, mm. and I was like, God. Mm. Yeah, fam. And I guess, speaking of sales, uh, did you guys see the pretty little thing? Yes, 99%. I off. did. What the hell. It didn't make any sense to me. <clears throat> Ninety. That's, that's you just. It's old. It's got to be old stock in it. You're just basically. You know, you're just taking a loss in it. It's just min. I don't know. Is minimizing your losses? I don't even know. So is it just the, attention? I think it's a, probably it's, a mixture. Yeah. 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 Could be argued that. So yeah, clothing retailers have come under fire for selling dresses from just eight p. On Black Friday, with critics accusing them of encouraging fast fashion and unsustainable consumption, clothing brand Pretty Little Thing offered deals of up to 99% off with high heeled shoes on sale for 25p and dresses for 8p. That's mad. Wow. Do you not know anyone that that got involved? Yeah, you can't even get fresh produce for that cheap. (laughs) (laughs) You can't buy an apple for 25p. Wow, it's so that's ridiculous. I do not, Mike. What, Mike, uh, what's the question? Do you know you anyone that? Uh, not personally. I know uh, some girls I follow on Twitter. Um, mm. They copped some stuff and sent that like, put like screenshots up. Mm. Like, I think one girl got uh, like four P <clears throat> earrings. Another girl says she got like a jacket and something for like thirty. P. It was all mad. Like, I couldn't believe it, bro. Delivery is more you, than like you. your your whole checkout. Yeah. It's yeah, yeah, really yeah. ridiculous. Uh, one buyer on Twitter said that they made 27 orders from the brand for just 57p each. <laughs> While another said they bought 56 items for 28 pound. Wow! Do you know what? what? I I rate it, man. Okay. I rate Why it. so? Let's why so? Um, maybe it's a maybe it's a marketing thing that I rate more than uh anything else. I just think it's. Like yesterday, that's all anyone was talking about. Um, and I think in these sell times, like what you just said about sales, like a lot of these uh, companies raise mm-hmm. the prices just before, then lower it. I was reading something that um, like a lot like Amazon, let's say Amazon, Argos, like Curry's, some of the products that are on sale now were actually cheaper uh, yes, so earlier on. In, in, yeah, different yeah, times yeah. in the year than they are actually now when they're on sale. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um mm-hmm. So I think from that standpoint, for them to just be like, yeah, we're just we're just gonna like 99% off. This is dirt cheap. It's gonna bring loads of noise and traffic to us. And it's just gonna make like everyone just talk about a pretty little thing. Then I see a, and a lot of other uh, brands um, or retailers who are doing like giveaways and stuff. So I think from a marketing point, I think it's it's mad clever. And I don't think yeah, would, I, like, yeah. if if it meant they would ever be at a loss, so it must be like written off stock or whatever. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not mad at it at all. Yeah, I, I, I kind of rate it. Clever. I'm on the I'm on the other side of the fence. To, oh uh, yeah, Les swear. Go on, let's hear it. Yeah, I I think I agree with Les 100 percent in terms of marketing and being spoken about. It, I, I I was telling Joe Sharif and Dom yesterday that it's probably the cheapest PR that they'll ever get. All right, easy. Mm. Uh, all they've had to do is reduce stock, which is already dirt cheap. Yeah. Reduce it a bit more. Yeah. And <clears throat> everyone's talking about them and they're in this publication, that publication. They're trending on Twitter, whether or not it's for the right or wrong reason. Uh, but from a marketing perspective, it's good. But then from a environmental, ethical, ethical <clears throat> standpoint, I think it's, it's a little bit. Um, I don't know. It just sums up the times. It's just like, yeah, we need to keep buying. Mm-hmm. And if you can buy, I think a dress for eight p. I just think like the cost of the product and the person that made it. How much are they getting paid? Kind of. Yeah. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm certain that someone's being exploited. Yeah. Um, and then I guess on a David Attenborough thing, 
um, just like just buying more stuff and consuming and consuming and consuming and consuming and consuming mm-hmm. constantly. Like it's, I don't know, I don't know if it's the thing for me at the minute. Like, what's the point in it? It's kind just of buy. It's just let's just buy more. Throw it away. We'll buy another thing. Like I don't know. That like, shit. And then I'm what if it was just like the dead stock? They were gonna get rid of shit anyway. Well, they've been fast fashion before that. Anyway, their stuff has been fairly cheap. Obviously, not this cheap. Yeah, mm. yeah, and and there's, there's, and there's man been getting exploited. That's how these companies are working, really. Mm, Without mm. if they were paying people fair wages, mm. they wouldn't be able to. And you can't find such a, a price. But um, uh, Mike, you raise a good point, though. Mm. Uh, what in terms of like, if it was stock that was due to, yeah, get that wouldn't really sell anyway. Get fucked off. Yeah. Give it mm. to some, uh, yeah, give it to some kids or whatever. I don't know, like, because yeah, the money they're gonna make from this isn't gonna affect their profit bottom line sure. or profit. Yeah, or yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd give it to some kids somewhere that fucking mm. that need it. Um, is probably a more ethical thing to do. I just don't know, man. I just feel like yeah, people buying more and more stuff, just cheap shit quality stuff at that price as well. It's not. It's certainly in stuff you need, is it? Nah, yeah, you're not thinking about this stuff. No, nah, oh, like, oh, you might. You are, might as well grab it. They're giving click, it away. Click, They're giving yeah. it away for free. Mm-hmm. It's, yeah, that's that's it. Basically, They're basically giving it away for free. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I had my David Attenborough hat on, and I was just like, ah. Uh, and then also the ethics side of it, and yeah, it ain't yeah. sustainable. That's for sure. Do you know what would be an absolute shit show if like uh, a big shop like Primark done that, uh, and well, in store. In person, oh, oh my god, right? Oh, yeah, forget, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, Primark yeah. have Big had their, they've had their issues with like their supply chain and mm-hmm. uh, ethics and morality of it. Um, I think one of their suppliers' buildings ages ago collapsed, and there was like I mad, about that. mad scrutiny um, about yeah <clears throat> these people's supply chains and how they're able to to push things up for such cheap. But I guess yeah, everything's built on exploitation, but it doesn't mean it's right. Um, mm. I guess yeah. I was speaking speaking with Joe as well, and he was like mm. yeah, poly, polyester, uh. polyester oils. And, <laughs> and, yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm with you tonight. Oh, I'm with guy. you tonight, brother Joe. <laughs> I already know what kind of yeah 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was on yeah he was on a, he was on a wave still. Um, shout out, no, shout big, out Joe. Yeah, big up Joe. It'd be good to know what listeners think. Did they get involved mm. in the sales? Did you pick up a bargain? Um, I'm sure you probably so did. Dan had it so had it been uh, I'll use Nike as the example had it been Nike and stuff were relatively cheaper than what there is what it is now would you have been interested or would you have taken the same I mean I don't take you for someone that just that is, does it for the price yeah you've raised you've raised like a, a great point because Pretty Little Thing has no there's nothing for us bearing there's right, nothing yeah. there for me nothing for Girl, but then if I saw like Nat Tech Fleece going for for P, it would probably brother where mm. man over there. <laughs> it, it, it it would even twenty quid. I'm over there. Definitely grab my attention to the point yeah. of yeah, pro- probably buying. Yeah. And then it's just I think the difference would be how much of it like you can consume. Fam, I don't think, mm. and I guess it devalues. Where it says quantity and it's got that plus button for yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it it would probably yeah devalue. So yeah, some companies wouldn't do mm-hmm. it. They wouldn't. Mm-hmm. I do you know what you yeah, said. Yeah, if it, yeah. if it does appeal to me, like you're right, I'd probably be singing a different tune. I'd be, ta- I'd be more torn. Yeah, you know, mm. than a pretty little thing. Um, mm. Which is just yeah, me being honest, so it might seem like hypocritical, but yeah. No, you could like, do oh, it and feel feel like bad about doing it but then this mm-hmm. you didn't fucking decide to put that sale on or whatever really? it? no yeah, but that's, that's not that's on you that's thing mike man that's like say that again rich 8p <laughs> no my <laughs> <laughs> mike's like well you didn't you didn't decide for the the um the, the price of the clothes you're just someone that's taking advantage of it mm, so it's uh-huh. like it's not your fault kind of thing but yeah. I'm like mm. you said if, what, that makes you sleep, if that makes you sleep better yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah it's like mm, <laughs> mm. fam yeah and sleep in your tracky fam yeah I, I just think it it goes to I guess how boohoo and pretty little thing nasty girl and all them lot 
how they have been set up and their model and how it mm-hmm. continues. It just kind of adds to it. Yeah. Um, because, yeah, even Boohoo, their stock price earlier in the year like, dropped because, again, yeah, the ethics were just shocking and, like, yeah. some audit- auditors left them and said, like, due to your supply chain and how shaky it is, we don't even want to audit you kind of thing. Mm. I swear. So it just <laughs> adds to... It just adds to, yeah. Yeah. Like, it's all accusations and a nonsense around them. Um, but that's not to say, yeah, NAC haven't had their stuff in the past with sweatshops. Mm-hmm. I do feel that they they're definitely moving away from that. Um, <clears throat> so a couple couple funny tweets uh, online talking about how men will put on um, an outfit worth two k um, to to go grab a girl whose outfit costs two fifty, um, mm. or buy expensive drinks and she'll still turn you away at the end of the night. And I was just like, it's mm. fun. when you say two fifty, <laughs> you mean two pound fifty. Yeah, two, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some more, yeah, yeah, yeah. zero pence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It just got me to think. That is true. Different worlds, man. Oh yeah, yeah. Girls, like, totally different worlds. Yeah. Normally, they could get dresses for mad cheap and all of that. And oh, on a normal day, yeah, yeah. there's more mm. value in. Uh, I think we've spoken it. I think we've spoken it. Maybe like uh-huh. two years ago or something. Yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. It's very different. <clears throat> it's very different. Rich, what was your stand on it? I don't, I can't remember. On just... on um the pretty little things, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm Did a you bit call... different. It, it look... Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, you um, see Richie at Sunday market selling yeah. their clothes. <laughs> uh, I'm a little. I, I would say indifferent in it. In a weird way, because. Ooh, I didn't expect says, it from you, you know? No, it's because it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't affect me, in it. It's not for me. It's easy yeah. for me to like, Distance in a way, just like not really care about it because I don't. Mm-hmm. In a way, I just like, well, I have nothing for me. I wasn't going to buy anything anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but the other side, uh, the fast fashion thing. I mean, bar ASOS, which I think is in a, a different kind, a different kind of legal fast fashion, fast fashion to your um, your pretty little things, your boohoo's, and mm-hmm. insert whatever fast fashion brand. I don't yeah, fuck with fast yeah. fashion. I saw it first. Not, yeah, them ones. Um, <laughs> I don't, I don't, it's proper, like, it's not even against, I mean, it is against, like, my ethics, so to speak, but mm. I just don't like your shit. So it's like, yeah. I'm not, yeah. it's like, almost like we often said, oh, when these things happen or some, there's some, something a bit controversial, or oh, like, I'm, I'm boycotting Gucci. Mm. I'm, I'm kind of boycotting them because I don't fuck with you anyway. Like, I've yeah. never bought anything of Boohoo yeah. because you shit. Yeah. It just really? doesn't look for me. It just it looks kind of cheap. And you lot know me. I don't spend mad pee on clothes at all. Mm-hmm. I just go. I tend to kind of go for quality. But um, I don't know, man. I think the fast fashion stuff is. I don't think it can sustain itself. I think it's mm-hmm. going to burn itself. Up. Um, and I prefer. Yeah, I guess I, I'm against it. I guess ultimately, but I didn't. I haven't thought on it that much because I'm mm. like, well, oh, it doesn't doesn't even affect yeah, me. Yeah. I don't. I don't really participate. So, so yeah, um, your ground, your grounds for being against it are steep. They're in. not strictly ethical. No, they're yeah, not strictly yeah, ethical. Yeah, they're no. just like I didn't it's like shit. you guys anyway. Yeah, I yeah, just don't yeah, really yeah. like that it. Pre- preference and yeah, and style. Mm. And I also but, if, really but if it was a Nike, you're you're over there. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not saying Nike are great, great ethically either. But yeah, yeah, know, yeah, yeah. I think at least the quality makes it more of a harder. Mm. Uh, yeah, it's more of a toss up for me, you know. Hmm. Um, thing apparently going out of, um, well, maybe soon going What's into up? administration. Um, yeah, Arcadia Group, that's mm. yeah, 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 I saw that. yeah. Uh, Burton's and Dorothy Perkins, 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 since He's COVID happened, they haven't really made change in it. Like this COVID, like sped up the death of the high street, high street. like by at least like five years or something. Um, mm-hmm. And I don't know. I almost feel like it will be bad if, like, if only fast fashion is the only alternative. It's going to be bad. Like, I mean, I only really buy like jeans and shit from Top Man anyway. But <laughs> mm. it's going to be bad for them to go when the only other thing is fast fashion. It's like. I need options. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's not the only other thing. Yeah, like it's like fast fashion or high fashion. I was just about to say, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Um, don't fuck with Viper, so <laughs> I need these guys. I need these guys. They're gonna be clubless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> living like a living like a Neanderthal. Bro. I'm going. I'm going straight hippie. I'm gonna have dreads and look, topless with fig. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Elephant <laughs> trousers on. But yeah, the, the death of the high street's been been coming though. Mm, creeping, mm. yeah, it's definitely been creeping. And remember, people know that. So as a business, if you haven't like tried to accommodate to a new fucking it's on you still style, yeah. Mm. <clears throat> It's on you. Um, uh, we well, we spoke about this in my at my workplace. Um, some mm. guy came and spoke about it, and he said, "Media was, quickly, was this was this prior to COVID? Oh, this was prior to yeah. Okay, um, and I guess yeah, there has been as we've said, as Mike said, so yeah, people have been seeing it for ages. Death of the High Street, blah blah blah. Um, but this guy said, mediocre brands are dying. Mediocre brands are dying. Yeah." He said, if you have a good, strong brand, you will survive. But if your offering uh, is middle of the road and you don't really excel in one area, he says, you will fade away. Uh, yeah, but the majority of the high street is, is medi- mediocre, yeah. Mm. I'd agree mm. still, yeah. I'd so yeah. Like, like, like a Bista village ain't going to close down. That's yes, it. No, 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 no. It's, if you got, yeah, if you got a power brand, yeah. which mm-hmm. I guess the most um noticeable mm. fashion brands are, mm. yeah, you're good, man. And as long and as think... me and Les are here, fam, <laughs> <laughs> you might keep it, um, you might keep it, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Out the UK, but... <laughs> no, them cash. Um, yeah, I, I actually agree. I think with and I use top. Uh, top shop and top man, I guess, versus some would think like ASOS. ASOS doesn't have a physical store, it's all mm-hmm. online, so they're they're winning on that point already. But I think to what Dan said, um, mediocre brands, and if you don't have an offering that I guess stands out, I think top man and top shop are a little bit like that. And I guess versus ASOS is that ASOS now have a little bit of their own brand as well as they sell other brands mm-hmm. as well, whereas mm-hmm. top shop and top man. It's all their own brand with a few concessions, but they're essentially offering the same thing that I can get off mm-hmm. at ASOS and I don't actually mm-hmm. have to leave my house ever. Yeah. Um, so yeah, to I guess to agree to that guy's point, um, maybe Arcadia Group are offering something that's a bit mediocre in today's terms. They were- Might be dated and yeah. Yeah, they were king and queen of the high street um, for years. Oh, yeah, years their main like, offering when you pre it is their experience. Of going to the actual store. And that's what yeah. it's about. So he, I think he mentioned, so Harvey Nicks, he mentioned Harrods, he mentioned... That's the one that goes to me every time. John, I would experience. He mentioned that it is more than just going to buy something. There's a yeah. feeling attached yeah. to it. Mm. Yeah, and having having mm. actually worked in the flagship store at Top Man, mm-hmm. um, you definitely see that. And just... It's little... DJs and that, innit? They got like trying yeah. to make a yeah, party. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so the like if like when I used to work there, even like now, if I go into like another top man somewhere else, it's just not one, it's not the same size. And two, you just don't get the experience or even quality uh mm-hmm. customer service wise that you get in the flagship store. Mm-hmm. Um and again, yeah, so that is probably why they're struggling the most, is because you're not getting that you experience. can't. That experience is limited now, isn't it? You yeah. can't really do, do, do we it. not think like Top Man and all of that can do a thing online? Then they've got online they've stores a, already. A, store, a solely online retailer, man. Yeah, I think they'll struggle. I think they're the, the yeah. new kids in that marketplace where the others. ASOS have been established for a while now, yeah, and yeah. just gaining more and more so, power. I think it's going to be tricky for um, them to make that transition because yeah. it's the experience. It's the fact that I can go to your store. And try this on and whatnot. Yeah. I think the thing that works with ASOS is that, and I even kind of experienced this earlier on, where I was looking for something, a pair of jeans. I was looking for a pair of jeans and I was asking Amanda about it yesterday and I was on ASOS looking for something else. Mm -hmm. And I didn't want to have to go, I didn't want to have to order this on ASOS and then go to Topman and order it there. So I tried to find it on ASOS website. And to the point it's ASOS do their own brand as well as other brands. I can get everything. You get more here. in one, yeah. Right, I can get more here. One stop shop, just, fam. Right, rather than mm. just having to go to Top Man and get the majority of Top Man stuff, where I can even get some Top Man stuff or Top Shop off of mm. uh, ASOS website. So I think that's 
in terms of online, I think for me, that's where they kind of win in that you, it's a massive marketplace, like Amazon almost. You can get mm-hmm. everything mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 from yeah, yeah. Amazon and Argos and Curry's and uh, so on. Um, so yeah, I think like to Rich, what said, what Rich said, I think Top Man and Top Shop will struggle online. Yeah, I, think, that transition. I, think, yeah, I don't think people really bother going I reckon on. we'll probably see some sort of a, a merger between someone for at least a little bit anyway. That could be a possibility, yeah. Like a, I a think, top, yeah. top shop and River Island or something like that. I don't know. Some of these these suffering brands. But yeah, a lot of the older guys that work there, like, oh, everything is moving to, yes, yeah, move from the high street, whatever. And it's moving to big malls and whatnot. And they're bang against it. They're like, I feel malls are just like, lifeless mm. same. it's all under one roof and they proper hate it they're like so American but for us look as a younger generation we don't really see anything against it but some no, of the older generation are like nah I guess no, I've like, never I, heard I, that I, you I know I kind of hear that, that you know? when, when they said Why it I was kind of just like Oh, yeah. I can't get what you're saying. I, I, I don't, don't, I don't yeah, get it I don't, at I don't all. Really I don't know, something for me, it kind of feels like a monopoly when it's like, it's all under mm-hmm. one roof. It's um, big out of town in the middle of nowhere. Like. I think there's something quite nice of like, because if malls are essentially, yeah, they're like glorified retail parks. I don't like retail parks for whatever reason as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just, there's something about it I like. Bro, you man are mad. Yeah, I don't You really, man yeah, are I don't... crazy. <laughs> Would you go to a Westfield or an Oxford Street West End? What would you prefer, Matt, as an experience? Westfield. Oh, yeah. Street. If you asked me that question a couple of years ago, I would have said uh, Oxford Street. But because oh. I just can't be bothered to walk up and down, I, it's just for, Sam, me, for me. I'm on this indoors thing. Everything's close by. <laughs> convenience is the um, biggest thing. It's all convenience. Grab a, grab a yeah. little smoothie quickly as I walk around and that. It's oh, you can get them nuts though on the Oxford yeah, Street. Nah, fam. Someone, yeah, someone might be giving out them little the, pretzels, the, the little free the joint, when they just got... The fumes and the pretzels in there. Yeah, I'll, I'll pick that up. Cool, I'll pick it up. I'll try it. I've never had it before. Cool. And then walk back. <laughs> get a little massage in yeah. that. That's what I'm saying. Bro. I don't like, yeah, there's some, I, I, something I don't like about the more thing. You know? I do understand the experience thing now that you've said it, because I guess, and it probably wasn't a big thing then, is that I remember like, Dan, after school, we would go to West, like Oxford Street. Yeah. It's, yeah, like, yeah. it's just like big Oxford Street, like gold. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Like, well, what, you may just go after school, isn't it? Yes. Come on, oh, man. 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 <laughs> That's after school. Wait, wait, after school, sixth form, sixth form, right? Uh, maybe it has to be sixth form. It has to be. It might be no, slightly younger than that. I think. Yeah. Might have gone like on a, on, yeah, on, a, on a weekend, like a yes. year eleven, Air Force ones and that. Uh, yeah. We was going right alley, fam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like, <laughs> yeah, I don't but know. yeah, but the experience was. To go there, I guess we didn't have a Westwood or uh, mm. whatever is there now. Then, um, so I do understand the experience thing, um, but for me nowadays, I think it's easier to get to. I guess now that we drive, it's easier to get to like a Westfield or a, or Brent Cross or wherever mm. you want to go, um, and it's convenience. Everything's in one place. If I go with Zara and I can't get something that I want, Top Shops just. Two minutes down. Mm-hmm. Well, you had that in Oxford Circus. Uh, for me, yeah. No, no, I but sometimes think, some things are blurred. Like, so, I think I don't like what I don't like about the morphing. Now we're 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 talking about it. And I'm thinking on it. There's no character. There's no character. Nah, I, there's I, no I character. There's no fam. character, man. I that, 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 I mean, just, that's what it's like. Yeah. Into fam. one place. That, 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 for COVID, I can that's no, right, I, I, yeah, I think it's exactly the same thing. No it's more convenient. No nah, man, you got to circus. You got brick buildings like Nighttown building. That's cold. Yo, but like, you... so Westfield, Westfield ain't got character. No, no. You're so, I mean, the White City one has more character than Stratford to me. Yes. And yeah, I cool. Well, like, yeah. One Different clientele. Yeah. You're you're mad, sir. You're mad. When you're like like when you're outside of like the main kind of strips, they kind of look bare the same. Like, Westfield it's, it's ain't the same, got character. When you go outside, it's the same then module. Nah. Uh, you're mad. You're mad. You're mad. No, bro. I agree with Rich. I think if you go to the Westfield in Stratford, <coughs> like I can't, I, I only go to it because it's close. If I could go to the other one, which like is like an estate, fam. 
Like I would, I wouldn't even go to it. But, but I it just looks go to cold, it because though. It's like, it looks I, cold. I don't care. I like the outside. Like. What do you mean? But we're if, talking about character. But and if you go if, buildings, you got okay. No, the, the one in Shepherd's Lights Bush and like Westfield. Shh. The one in Shepherd's Bush. Like, Copper blow, Arena blows out the water. Shut up. With the uh, <laughs> what luxury luxury village and that where you yeah, walk. it just made, like even like again, Dan. We used to go there um, mm-hmm. weekends and just like you get the village, then you get the outdoor. Like it's just the experience you get is a lot. Slightly a bit more premium than the one you get in Stratford. So it's mm. just of the same shopping centre or company that own it. It's different. Do you know what it like... is? It's it's uniform. It's all uniform. Um, yeah. I remember I when I was doing some module at uni and they were telling me about the, basically the building that our thing was in was some cold architectural building where my class was for most of them. Um, and it was like, you, you know, you can go to Australia and walk into this exact same building. Mm-hmm. Because that's what they do. It's just the same. It's modular. They build this. It it's Lego. Okay, yeah. It's Lego. Yeah, you can't, This thing is a work of art. Like Oxford Circus, work of art. Like mm-hmm. it's different, man. It's different. What, I, okay, I so like we're I'm, talking about. So we're talking about one thing, yeah. Oxford Circus that you rate. What about Wood Green High Street? What about other high streets? That's on Wood Green's a mall. Again, Town. Though, for the most part. Enfield, no, 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 no. Wood, Wood okay, Green, okay, but even okay. There's a little mall. Yeah. Yeah. Go Enfield on. Town. So you'd rather go like Enfield Town. Then go. That's what I do, to be fair. Yeah, but that's comp- Do you that's, know what I think plays a part in it there. as well? And it, it's obviously down to the offering. Me. I think that, and I think it's. The offering, definitely. There's a little bit of a nostalgic feel to it. Yeah. So I it use Chris- Christmas as the biggest example in that Oxford Street do the <clears> lights <throat> and whatnot. So that. Carnaby experience. Street. Oh, oh say right. Carnaby Street. Whereas well, in. You ain't never seen, you ain't never seen the, the big tree in the middle of Brent Cross. I uh, keep that man. <laughs> that is dead. I don't I don't know know trampoline, so you can take your nephew in that. What the fun fair that's been there for like a hundred years outside, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, outside yeah, Fenwick's. Um, so I think a lot of it is a lot of it is a nostalgic feeling. Even like wood green, like gold wood green. It's all hustle bustle. Like bare things mm. are going on. I think that's that's. That's put that has to play a part in it as well. Mm. Do you know what? Yeah, when actually when I go like Wood Green, I'm just like in a rush, boom. I'm mm-hmm. just trying yeah. to be. But I feel yeah, like nah. even if I do go to the Moon Wood Green or Westwood, I feel like I'm kind of still like that. But do you know no, what? That's is just, also that's you, bro. <laughs> yeah, that might just. Be, but also another thing, if I go like Wood Green quickly or at Circus whatever, I oh, no, I was gonna say I have more time I do it on my own as well. Uh, I do like shopping on my own, to be fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I kind of so, prefer it. But but if I was to go to like a, a Westfield, I do go on my own as well. But I would shout people as well. Mm-hmm. It's mm. more of a little, like a little mulch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm. Go, go grab a food quick. I, I see I see both sides of the argument, man. Uh, Where'd you say I, I feel like you you side with the Oxford Circus. Yeah, I'll probably, I'll probably go with that uh, over... A, a more experience. I don't know what it is. Yeah, I think Liz is right in terms of nostalgia, um, and I think you're right as well in terms of the like the modular setup. It's just like it's just points of difference. Mm. Um, I feel with a high street or a top top high street, but then like what Mike's saying, yeah, we go Westfield. We used to go regular, so there is something there for me in in a Westfield or a um, cross ish. I want nostalgia. Let's go Lakeside. In- no, <laughs> tell me. and I tell me, fam. Like, come, yeah, come on, come on, fam. That's too. That's a lot of nostalgia. Man, you still not, blow to Lakeside. Get there to Lakeside. Like, out all that way for H and M and Debenhams. Shit clothes, man. Two, two JD. Yeah, yeah, like JD, massive Primark. Millie's cookies. But no. Oh, too strong. <laughs> That makes it all worth it, isn't it? Mm, come on. Um, but yeah, it raises a good point, man. High street, online retail. But yeah, pretty little thing. Back to where we started. <sighs> I'm not sure, man. I'm not sure it's for me, personally. <clears throat> but yeah, if you're getting your 8P dresses, do your thing, man. Yeah. Let okay. us know what you prefer as well. Maybe we should put a poll up. Mm-hmm. Gotta ask them. Mm-hmm. Aid. Aid. See what Aid says. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. We need the, the expert opinion still. So um, what if like the high street does completely die out? What's gonna be there? Experience houses, yards no, over overpriced housing, unaffordable housing. That's what we need. <laughs> and I think experiences. So Such food, as? a lot of them will be replaced with things that you can't get digitally, like food. 
you can't go to a restaurant yeah, on Zoom, can you? food places. Yeah, so there'll be yeah, a lot yeah. of food places. I think... Um, Good shot. Uh, I think it's all based around experience. So there'll be more... I mean, Poland, I think no, a funny no one to say. Yeah, but you know, mm, like... Laser you know, Quest. There'll be a lot of VR things, I think, popping up. To be fair, I think that's the that might take up a lot of the empty mm. space best, in the um, smoke shops and that vape, vape, vape shops, yeah. yeah. Experience <laughs> stuff, man. Stuff that you can't you can't do digitally because again, COVID sped up this whole shit. Yeah. So I think it's gonna be experiences you can't get at home. Mm. Mainly. It's a shame, man. Because yeah, when I go down, I guess yeah, Emperor Emperor High Road, High Street now. Sad, man. That's dead. It's actually there's nothing. Sleeping. Yeah, I can't remember. It's, 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 mm. There's a CEX yeah. and a Morley's. I don't know if CEX is still there. <laughs> Boy, who knows? What? CEX is fatigued fam as well. There's yeah. bare ghost stores, man. It's not it's good. Man. It's not no good. solar, spare solar shops. Mm-hmm. Man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Bring yeah. back, um, bring back, bring back Woolworths, man. Uh, Come on. Come on. Man. That's where it all went downhill. <laughs> yeah, that was the start of it, innit? Yeah. Mm. Trust. My first Mad redundancy. Man, speak. <laughs> you bounced back, man. Look at you. There were, there were many more to come, like. <laughs> Look at you now, fam. Look at you now. I made you, fam. Did you get made redundant because it closed down? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. You thought I was doing something, something behind the scenes. <laughs> well, I, thought, I, thought you used to, I thought you jazzed up a fire in still. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> got me redundant. <laughs> you bounce back. Got um, a um, redundancy pay, dickhead too. Those were your days, man. Dead. Uh, what were we saying? Brilliant, or? <laughs> yeah, I think we've been going for a. Yeah, that was all. A lot of retail detail, fam. Mm. What's the best job you lot have ever had, though, quickly? It's funny you say that. I'd probably say working at Top Man. Top Man. Yeah, I might. Well, that's just good. I was gonna say working out. I was like, what? <laughs> I, might, I might lean to Sainsbury's, you know. I swear. Why is that? Do you think it's a nostalgia thing? It's, you know, it's just carefree, man. Very Do you know carefree. what it is? Do you know what it is? Yeah, and I realized this. Like in, like in school, like for me, for me anyway. <clears throat> school, like it's just man them are there. Like you're just busting joke. Like school was just like all just all about jokes. There was some oh. learning involved in it as well. <laughs> <laughs> it was mostly just busting job. Minimal and, learning. Like. And I've realised wherever I've worked, that's always been, not my mentality, but that's kind of stuck with me. So like I'm mm. on like busting job, Bounce. but mine are mm. on like working. <laughs> working, yeah. Why are you so working? Then, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, you so can that, run some joke as well. Like, oh, no, yeah, of course. Of yeah. course, of course no, that's what I'm saying. That's the mentality, isn't it? Like, yeah, of course both, jokes are run, like, but cool. I think it's, doing it with people who I guess didn't grow up with or like me or in the same area mm. as me um, so that's kind of always travelled with me but whereas like Top Man there were more people that were like me and because it's retail no one really takes it that seriously yeah 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm. so it was just it's, it is very carefree I think that's a big like, that's a big like, that's a big it's very really like, like Rich, Rich I'll let like, you go as, first because I'll let you go so. we shit on like retail work bro bro Fun, best, like, best time like, people, young, similar age. Like, I, I, I don't think I've had a strong age. Can't mess up community like that much. In, in like, in, yeah, the um, the community of that retail environment was the best. My, mm-hmm. I know Mike's yeah. gonna agree. Um, probably Carl um, from Warehouse, man. Hundred yeah. percent. Working alongside Mike, say, some I of the other man, the um, mm-hmm. and just that team. That team was cold, like yeah, cold, 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 cold team, cold. like cold. Cold. Very, very yeah. mutual understanding. Yeah, like, you just with you, do with, you do with different things in different environments and different jobs. And mm-hmm. that one, yeah, sometimes the customers will you've got like almost beef with certain customers, but yeah, yeah, you've yeah. got your team and shit, it's calm. Um, whereas now, like, you've got different issues in, in like actual yeah. work. That was we used to run <clears> bad <throat> joke, like, bad. Yeah, it was live, it was still like football at the back, Pat Ball, Richie. I'm still, I'm still like 15 and up on him, like, it's mad. Yeah, football. Yeah, it's mad. Babe. Yeah, it's mm. sick. It was live, live. But yeah, I say, I say, yeah. Uh, retail, yeah. It's oh, hey, do you know best, what actually? The best time I had. But then, I, for me, I guess the best group of people was when I went to the Sky. That was mm. a that was a cold mm. environment. Mm. But like mm. I've said, like Sky is like 
it's a massive like playground. They get like you get like in winter you get like an ice rink outside in that. Yeah. <laughs> it's just yeah, like yeah, that's, 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 yeah, that's cold. Yeah, that's again, cold. some work is being done at some point, but mm. the time is just man <laughs> yeah. mucking around, waiting Let's for the just day have to fun, end. Fun, man. That's what life's about. Can, so we can go for a drink and then that's it. Mm. <laughs> I'm chatting though. My my probably my second best job was working with Dan. I've actually worked with pair of them, man. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah me too. Me was too. Snoozed, fam. Who was, was working there? Yeah, it was just there, calm. Just come in, cruising. chat shit on on water. Um, mm. Yeah, the whole day. Do you know what I? <clears throat> I realized this this week. I said I've been doing a lot more work from home shit today. Um, this week, sorry. Um, I was working at a company, mm-hmm. and do you not use Microsoft Teams? Yeah, yeah, I do. The so, shittest, shittest platform ever, but God. Awful, um, um, what? Go oh, that. Answer and call. Yeah, I had to on. change yeah, my yeah. ringtone because that thing was very annoying. Oh, you can change it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I'm changing that man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, still DRE coming in. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so I'm working with these. It's some producers, yeah. So it's, uh, there's one for one, there's bare channels, there's bare groups, all of that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So they've opened mm-hmm. this new channel. Bro, I get into this group. It's with these producers. I don't chat to them that much. Um, mm. or someone's like, oh, so happy that we're here now, finally. Someone someone said, hello, everyone. The other person said, glad to be here. Mm. And I was just like, oh, fuck off, everyone. Like, <laughs> oh, you're, you're all kinds. Like, what? Like, this, I hate that fake, this fake shit you yeah. have to do in like corporate kind of stuff. I actually hate it, bro. <laughs> um, so I think just not having to deal with that and actually being like with real people and like understanding the same language and that shit. <laughs> it, was just, it was just good. Why are you busting out, bro? I don't know why you switched so much. Like. <laughs> it's fine because it really pissed me off. Like it pissed me off. I went off when I was like, I hate you. I hate you're me. really fatigued. Glad, you need to get You're fatigued, here, bro. You're fatigued. Glad to be here. <laughs> You're glad to be here in this virtual room. You're a hell of a maybe, on, fam. maybe they are. Tech, in, a, in a chat in a chat group. Just maybe because you're the... fuck off, man. Just, just, because you're, just because you're not. Don't put don't put that negativity on someone no, else. Man. No, <laughs> no, yeah. I've worked, yeah, I've worked with Dan, my first job and that, Sainsbury's. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, he yeah. was there for longer, innit? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, I was, I was there, there for a bit longer. So. Then I worked with Jamie. Um, shout out Amy, come on. And then, mm-hmm. then you, oh, Rich. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, so, yeah. Amy was cold. Amy was very cold. We used to go mm-hmm. up and down the country mm-hmm. and that. That was, a, yeah, that was most still. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> very good times. Man. But, yeah. But, yeah, man. Um, that episode 183. Yep, yep, yep. You know what it is. Hold the man in podcast. Keep it locked.